Lexington School District 1 is offering a no-cost summer food program for children. Who is eligible to receive the benefits and more? We're going to be talking with Sally Nicholson. She is the Registered Dietitian and Food Service Director. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Coco. Such an honor to be on your show today. Tell us about the Summer Food Program and who it's for. The Summer Food Service Program is for all children 18 years and younger and for individuals who have disabilities up to age 21. It's open to all families wanting to receive quality, nutritious meals at no cost during the summertime. Okay. It's provided by the United States Department of Agriculture to help support community outreach to ensure that all children have access to quality, nutritious meals during the summertime. We want to do our part to ensure all students are well nourished and ready to start the school in the fall. That is awesome. Now, is that just for Lexington District 1? It's open to all children. You do not have to attend Lexington County School District 1. It's open to any family that would like to drop through. I tell you, I hope you guys don't run out of food. That's going to be a lot of families. That's awesome, though. So, so what types of meals can families expect? We'll be packing seven days worth of meals, seven breakfasts and seven lunches, and that will include a wide variety of entrees for breakfast and for lunch. Also, summertime is a great time for fresh produce. So we'll be offering fresh produce boxes, three to five pounds per child. And I say an average of that because, you know, produce varies in weight. So we can't say so many items. We're just going three to five pounds processed there and um, a gallon of milk. And that's for every child. So each child will receive seven breakfast, seven lunches, a fresh box of produce and a gallon of milk. Super. And so what are the locations, the dates, and the times of the drive throughs We service every Thursday from 11 to 12 for the pickup times. And the last pickup date will be July the 29th. We have eight wonderful locations throughout our county to help service the community. And those locations are Carolina Springs Middle, Deerfield Elementary School, Centerville Elementary School, Gilbert High School, Midway Elementary, New Providence Elementary, Hillian Elementary, and Red Bank Elementary. How can families sign up for this program or do you sign up? We encourage families to complete an online form each week. It's not required, but it greatly helps with us with forecasting and ensuring that we have meals available for everyone that comes to the drive through um, That form is located on the district's website. It will go up on June the 10th for service starting on the 17th of June. The form will open up at 1 p.m. each Thursday and close at 6 p.m. on Mondays. And the reason it closes on Mondays is because I have to order the food on Tuesdays for delivery on Wednesday. So we want to make sure we get the best fresh produce and the best quality of milk that is always fresh when our customers come pick it up. Okay, and suppose you are not able to go online or maybe you forget. Is, uh, is there a way that you could still get the food? Yes, we will service everyone that comes to the drive through If you could help us out, if you don't have time to complete it or you totally forgot, you're welcome to call Ashley Summers at 803-821. 1231 or email her at a summers at lexington the number one dot net and she can add you to the school of choice that you would like to drive through and pick up super okay so now do families need to provide any particular um documentation or anything when they come by to pick up the food great question coco per the united states department of agriculture guidelines we do have to ensure that the meals are being given to students, and we realize that it's often difficult for children to be in the car with the families and or a neighbor that may come pick up for them, or they may have a teenage driver that's able to come through to pick up the mm -hmm. meals. All that's doable. All they need to do is bring some form of identification. An example could be like the student ID they use at school. If it's a teenager that's driving or got a permit, they can bring that. They can bring a government issued uh, identification like a child ID or a birth certificate or a social security card. Any of those types of IDs work. 
Very good. Sally Nicholson, registered dietitian and food service director for Lexington School District 1. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Coco. My pleasure.